Hey everybody, welcome to week... NanoWadmo week four? I think it's week four. It's, it's, it's the last week. <laughs> so anyway, I'd mentioned that I was kind of working back and forth on hell maps and, uh, well, I should say one hell map and then one tech base map. Well, I don't know. The hell map just wound up getting restarted a whole bunch of times because, I don't know, I couldn't, couldn't really find a good direction. But uh, tech base ultimately won out. I have a feeling it's probably because of all the uh, knee-deep knee and Z-Doom play I've been doing. But anyway, let's go on a quick tour. Note that the texturing is not even close to finished. So pretty much the idea is that in the previous level, the city level, or what's going to be the city level, you end up entering this building through a duct, which is probably put a little thing up there just to make it look like you drop down go through here end up in kind of a lobby and yeah that lava texture yeah it's just a reminder for me to actually you know finish that now we have a couple of different ways to go and this is going to be kind of the quote non-linear map of the set so we've got like the blue hallway we've got the red hallway and these do actually end up looping around. There's going to be like a side path off here, but haven't gotten quite that far yet. There's another path there, which uh, I'll show you that at the end. Ooh, fancy monitors in the walls. But yeah, plenty of opportunities for little branching paths and such. However, you're going to need keys to get in here. So, our little reception desk here. Complete with chairs, how fancy. And you could also enter it, of course. Hmm, seems like somebody's slacking. Anyway, this is all very unfinished. Like, this area here is going to end this one here. These are only going to open after you clear out, like, these two left and right areas. And this little area here, a little storage room, which is going to have a few goodies in it. Maybe a few bad guys, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Nothing in it now, of course, but, you know, subject to further detailing and such. Okay, so, go up here. Look at that texture alignment. It's like something out of 94, if 94 had Otex. We'll swing over here. See the red key over there. Nothing really to do. I haven't added, like, desks or cover into this room just yet. It was one of those things where I spent a bit too much time on the hell map and... A lot of this stuff was knocked out fairly quickly. Apparently I had some ideas for tech bases that swimming around in my noggin that I didn't quite um, didn't quite realize in time. But right, here's the other one. It's going to be a little bit of a, uh, again, this area is supposed to be closed off. But um, blue key, little combat arena here with cover, plenty of ways to get trapped, so you'll have to kind of blast your way out. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I could kind of see... What I'm sort of picturing is just these areas closing off after you get in there. Enemies, like, spawning in and filling it up. And then, periodically, as you're fighting through here, the doors open up and, uh... I don't know, let loose the Hounds of Death. We'll see how it goes. Probably play around with it a bit just to see kind of how things feel. And adjust based on that. But these are just meant to be quick returns back to the uh, central floor. This is the quote-unquote front entrance, so this will never actually be open. The ultimate objective for this is to release, like, a couple security barriers. Like, I'm going to have um, probably two lights on either side of this door. And each are going to be triggered by, like, a, a, a switch on, like, one of these respective sides. Pretty simple. A little bit of boom trickery, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Now in here, this is going to be basically the second half of the base. Kind of like the corrupted half. Or well, maybe not half. This is going to be pretty much the end fight in here. No lighting yet, just kind of ooh, ugly seams, but can't really do anything about that, sadly. But yeah, this is going to be, this is all hurt floor. Just five damage or two if you have armor. And yeah, things are going to spawn in here, you're going to fight everything, and then there's going to be a teleporter like in the next room, and that's going to take you somewhere else. Oh, right. I <laughs> can't do that just yet. Awesome. 
But yeah, that's kind of been my current project while I try to get inspiration for the hell section. I don't know, like I said, this came together pretty quickly. I have a few little flourishes done, like pretty much the hallway was the first thing I did, because um, as I mentioned a little while ago with um, uh, Project uh, Doom GPT, I like to get like one room that's somewhat realized, that way I kind of have an idea of um, sort of how I want things to look. And I kind of, I actually technically did the, the red section first. And I sort of liked the sort of black, white, and red look. Looks somewhat striking. So I'm going to make the base mostly, I don't know, I'm kind of like grayscale shades with like various accent colors, depending on where you are and all that good stuff. Shouldn't be anything too wild. <laughs> and then maybe do something about that. Maybe. Or I don't know. I mean, if I were an interior decorator, I wouldn't mind having a lava wall. Yeah, fun stuff. But, uh, yeah. And this area, not entirely sure what to do with it outside of making this area, like, a little bonus. Maybe that's what I'll just kind of relegate this to. This will just be maybe a little bit of a storeroom. I don't know. But that's, um, pretty much my current thing. So, not too shabby. And a couple of the things that I did try to do here. All these areas I tried to sort of round out a little bit. Basically, anything that normally would have been a hard corner, I tried to just sort of, uh... Oh, what's the word for that? Chamfer? I don't know. Either way, I tried to put, like, diagonals instead of hard, like, hard cuts. And I find that that actually made it look a lot better overall. I don't know. Just one of those little things that I was just kind of tweaking with. I mean, obviously the crates are crates, but <laughs> aside from that... But I don't know, I thought it gave it a little bit more of a, uh, I don't know, quasi-futuristic sort of look. Smooth things out a tiny bit. But, yeah. That's what we got right now. Um, I think I'm pretty much only going to be able to get this one and, uh, Suburbia done. Which, speaking of which, Suburbia is coming along pretty nicely. It's, um... Kind of amazing how long it takes to actually populate large encounters. <laughs> Who would have thought? But, yeah, that's been pretty much taking up, like... Well, okay. So, that's been about, like, 50% of my time, which I haven't had a whole lot of free time, unfortunately. Between, like, video production and IRL type stuff. But that's taken, like, half the time. Trying to figure out something for the Hell Chapter has taken up about, like, 30% of the time, and this took 20%. So, um, like I said, I probably should have started on this sooner. The hell section, I don't know, I just can't get... I can't get the motivation for it at the moment. But this kind of came along pretty naturally, so... That's where we are. Kind of wish I had a little bit more to show for this, but... Uh, you know, what you gonna do? I do plan to continue this project, because uh, we are coming up... <laughs> pretty much... Banging headfirst into the end of October. So... I think I, uh, guess I can kind of give a little bit of a post-mortem here. I think this would be a good time, because I think I've learned the lessons I need to learn. So, lesson number one, if it's your first time doing Nano Wadmo, yeah, just, just keep it simple. <laughs> I mean, holy shit. This is, uh, one of those deals where I figured, okay, the, uh, gameplay mod feels okay because I'd been working on that kind of in the time leading up to it. So uh, just banging out some levels, fairly quick and simple, shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, the gameplay mod took a surprising amount of time this month, just kind of getting it refined, balanced, and what have you. That's on top of just um, IRL things, like had a wedding, I had some friends visit, you know, just various, a whole lot of time, well, and... Then there's just the obligatory stuff, you know, work, taking care of the house, all that good stuff. So, um, oh yeah, and also that little YouTube thing. But, yeah, so keep it simple. Never assume, like if you're doing the gameplay mod route, if you're going that way, never assume that you're going to be done with it, because I can almost assure you that uh, even if you go in thinking everything's going to be fine, uh, it probably won't be. 
I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's just me. Too much tweaking, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. And the other thing, keep the number of maps. I don't know, to a minimum. Make a good proof of concept. Don't do too much detailing. That was kind of a problem I had with the player's house in the uh, in map one. I started like you know, casting out lights and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, things of that nature. And that just takes up a surprising amount of time. Like, you could end up spending as much time detailing as you do actually drawing out the map. And, uh, found that out. And again, you know, it's just one of those things. You have to kind of know yourself to some degree. I mean, I knew I wasn't a very fast mapper going in, and, uh, yet I still decided to kind of planned something that would probably be 10 maps long. <laughs> well, hey. I mean, I, I wasn't really expecting to get everything done. I was hoping to get more than this, but, you know, I was kind of just hoping to give myself a good base. And I think I did. I just need to finish up the rest of the maps and uh, write out some story and all that good stuff. Yeah, fun times. But I think I'm going to cut it there. Uh... Don't really have much else to say. Like I said, I kind of wish I would have picked something maybe a little bit less ambitious, but, um, you know, it is what it is. I do not have a DeLorean equipped with a flux capacitor. So, yeah, you know, we'll just have to live with this and learn our lesson for next year. Am I right? But, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> speaking of uh, free time and such. Might not have been a bad idea if I would have taken like a few days off of work here and there just to have a little bit more time with this. Eh, you know, <laughs> again, just thoughts. I mean, all my days were accounted for, so it really wouldn't have mattered, but yeah, you know, whatever. But anyway, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for following along. And uh, I do plan to keep doing these little like video devlogs just once in a while. Maybe not weekly, but uh, whenever I have any significant updates, I will definitely be sure to um, upload a video, all that good stuff, add it to the growing playlist, and uh, yeah. So I guess I can safely say, until next time, <laughs> yes. But anyway, I'm going to cut it here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.